do you sometimes feel like there just isn't enough time in the day for you to do the things that you want? Maybe that's pursuing a goal or pursuing your passion or having enough time to spend with your friends and family. If that's true for you, if that's how you feel, then you're gonna wanna stay tuned to this video because today I'm sharing Dean Graziosi's number one productivity hack for people just like you. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Cece Cheney, and this is actually coming from my notes here from the Start Over Challenge. So if you didn't know, I have been doing a challenge for the last four or five days um, with Dean Graziosi and Tony Robbins and I mean, the Boss Babes, all these incredible people. And today Dean did like a little bonus session around um, around um, being in the right mindset to be successful, being in the right mindset to get things done. So someone had asked the question, what if I just don't feel like I have enough time? What if I just don't feel like I'm, you know, I can make this side project work for me? What if I don't feel like I have enough time for my family? Because I want, right? I have big dreams. I have things that I want to create in this life. Like I, I want to do those things, but I just don't have the time. And I'm going to be honest with you. I hear this a lot from, from entrepreneurs. I hear this a lot from um, people in general. They, they really have a desire to change their life, but like there's only 24 hours in the day. How am I supposed to be productive? So Dean went in. And when I say he went in, if you were on the training and you saw him, let me know in the comments. But he went in. He was like preaching. I was throwing out fire emojis because it was so good. And it was a message that I needed to really hear. Not because I necessarily struggle with time, but um, because it was clear to me, I have a couple of new projects that I'm working on now. I'm like in the phases, I'm testing out one of my new projects tonight. You know, I've, I've got so many things that I've got going on. And so this was the thing that Dean shared today, his number one productivity hack that could really change your life. Anybody want to guess what it is? Let me know in the comments what you think the number one productivity hack is. Dean said, you've got to start practicing saying no. Right, and I am a recovering people pleaser, if you've ever been there, right? Like that is not easy. Um, but he said that he is obsessive about saying no, right? So he was sharing today that you wanna to start to analyze your life. What areas of your life are you truly um, passionate about? What areas of your life are your number one priorities? And write those down, identify those areas. So for him, he's talking about you know his wife and his kids and his business and his health. And he's like, those are my things. And if somebody brings something to me that they want me to do and it's not one of those things, if it doesn't help me in any of those areas, I say no. And I... I'm going to be honest with you. I struggle with this a little bit. Sometimes people ask me, hey, could you do this thing? Could you help me out with this thing? And I want to say yes because I'm a people pleaser. But I thought, oh, Dean, I needed this message today, right? He said you have to start saying no to the things that don't serve you. But not just the things that don't serve you. Also, the people that don't serve you. The events that don't serve you. The, the phone calls that don't serve you. He even said, and I love this, he said, I say no to voicemail. And I didn't, I mean, I am not a big fan of the phone anyways, right? But he says, I say no to voicemail. His voicemail recording actually says, hey, this is Dean. I don't check these voicemails. If you really want to, um, to chat with me, go ahead and shoot me a text. He says no to voicemail. He just doesn't waste his time listening to long drawn out messages of people trying to leave him a message, right? And that's the kind of, the kind of, uh, skill that you want to have with this, knowing exactly when to say yes and exactly when to say, you know what, this, this activity won't serve me, right? But he did say this, learning to say no does not happen by accident. You have to consciously decide that I'm going to say yes to the projects that make sense to me. I'm going to say yes to the people who serve me. I'm going to say no to the people in my life who were energy drainers. I'm going to say no to the, to the events, to the get togethers that don't serve me. Right? So he's like, you have to be very conscious um, to say no. Right? He said, I'm always looking for new things to say no to. I wrote that down. I just thought that was so funny. That's how intentional he is about this activity. So he shared a little activity that you can do if you're somebody who struggles in this area. If you're somebody who says, I just don't have time to do that side business that I've been wanting to do my whole life. I just don't have time to start meal prepping so that I can eat healthy, right? If, if it is something that you want to start to prioritize, you want to do some things. And so Dean says... 
grab a journal, grab some pen and paper, and write all the stuff that you do on a regular basis. Just jot down, hey, this, these are the things that I do. I watch, you know, I scroll on social media, you know, I get on Facebook for 30 minutes, I go and I, you know, go to happy hour, right? Not during these times, but in the past, right? Just make a full list of all of the things that you currently do. And then identify how those things are serving you. Is this something that I need to start saying no to? Is this something I need to be doing more of? Are these people that I want to spend more time with? Are these people that I need to start saying no to? But starting to actually go through and say, does this serve me? Does this relationship serve me? Does this activity serve me? Does this phone call serve me, right? Does my time scrolling, scrolling social media serve me? So you go through and you do that. And you start, he says, make, make an I'm saying no list. So take the things that you decided, I'm not doing that anymore. And you make a list and you say, I'm saying no to these things in the future. If someone calls me up and they just want to gossip for the next hour, I'm saying no to that thing. If someone calls me up and they want me to work on a project that doesn't serve me, I'm going to say no to that thing. If someone, you know, and you just start saying, this is my no list. And then you're conscious about saying no. So that's his number one pro productivity tip. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know um, your thoughts around this whole concept. And I look forward to chatting with you soon. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I love you and I appreciate you. Ciao.